Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video on the mods I did to my Charge Master. This is my original one. This is a new one. They're modified a little bit different on the drop tube. Uh, this one uses the traditional McDonald's straw insert, about an inch long, up to tube is all it is. Works really good on all powders. This one I modified a 10 millimeter auto pistol case. Uh, it also works pretty good. I'm still playing with this one. It does a good job, but you know, I'm kind of still in the, just got it. Oh, a couple months ago, finally got around to using it. And so I'm still modifying and, but, um, it, it's, I think it's going to work just as good. This one's never overthrown a single charge ever for me. So, and I don't know how many rounds, I mean, thousands varmint rounds hunting rifle rounds you name it um as a verification i've got my and fx 120i set on a machinist granite block uh, it's an accurate scale down to 0 0.02 which is in some cases a kernel depending on the powder um they're 95 and a half 95 and a half. So this pan has been zeroed on both. Uh, this powder I'm throwing here is IMR 4895, which most of you know is a extruded powder, not an overly long extruded powder, but um, you know, I don't ever change this thing depending on powder. So let's just test a 40 grains. See what we come up with when we compare it to the FX120i. I mean, it gets up there pretty quick, but then you can watch it. It'll dump just one or two kernels at a time during the final trickle. And I think this scale on the Charge Master is actually a lot more accurate than the resolution it shows. So there you go, 39.98. Can't get any closer than that. Not with this powder. You know, each one of those kernels probably actually weighs that much or a little more. It might be off by a single kernel. If your rifle can't handle that difference, then it ain't in tune. Here we'll do another one, see what we come up with. Just going to do a couple here so I don't bore you to death, but just kind of show you the accuracy of my Charge Master. I've only changed two programming parameters. Let's we'll see what this one comes up with. So there's 40 on the money. So, you know, and that's what I kind of see with this Charge Master. It, it's so consistently accurate. I kind of stopped cross-checking it with the FX. It's just always right there, you know. And, I mean, I usually, worst case, I'll see a 0 0.06 grain difference with some powders. That's a couple kernels, you know. If you got a 0 0.06 difference on a small ball powder, you know, you're, you're actually off a ways. But, you know, with the powder like this, um, oh, we'll do a third one. There you go. I mean, there's three of them. And the whole spread across the three charges is only 0 0.04. So you're lucky if that's a kernel, you know. And I know it's only got a 0.1 grain resolution on the screen, but I think this thing's a lot more accurate, you know, behind the curtains and the, what it's actually reading than what you see right there. Because I'm measuring with a 0 0.02 resolution scale, and here I've got a 0.1 resolution, but yet I check it, and it's so close, you know. Like if I was actually throwing these charges on my fx i wouldn't mess with that i'd just dump it in the case you know so 
Anyhow, uh, let's go over. I'll show you on this other one so I don't mess with that one. To edit these programming mods, uh, you go enter and edit mem at the same time. I got this one set up the same way as the other one. I'll just use this one to show you. So normally it's like 15 and change to go from your fast throw to your trip your medium trickle. Uh, I set it at 10. Hit enter. The next one, um, I think it's three point something on the charge master. And you'll notice with those programming mods, like it'll be like 15.68 or something like that. And then this one, and so I change it to 10. And then this one's like 3.48. So if you're setting the mod, the parameters to read, you know, down to a hundredth of a grain. So why, why would they have it that way? You know, if the scale, cause like I could go two, 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 right? If the scale can't actually see that, it may not be showing it to you here when you're throwing charges, but I think this scale is actually uh, seeing that, you know? So put it back. And then those are the only two I changed. This is down to your final trickle where it's just bumping, dropping those one or two kernels at a time. I don't change that. That's factory setting. Um, so otherwise it gets real slow. And I just, I don't know what the rest of them are. I didn't care because it works so good with just those two changes. You just keep hitting enter until it reboots. And, um, there it goes. Just like you're starting it up for the first time. So I know I've talked to people online about the Charge Master, how much I love it. Some people hate it. Some people have issues. I don't know. You know, there, there might be some machines. I might have got lucky with this one, and it's just super accurate. Uh, you know, I talk to people online. A lot of people don't believe me that it's as accurate as I claim, but you know, I just, this, you saw exactly why I don't even cross check it anymore. I just threw three charges and the total spread was 0 0.04 grain. I mean, that's absolutely nothing. You know, my rifles will set to be tuned across a far greater spread, you know, than that. Um, so that's not going to affect my accuracy at all, nor my speeds really. So anyhow, hope this, uh, helps you guys a little bit and i hope you can you know get your machines tuned just as well i think if you play with those first two or three parameters kind of get it to where it needs to be hopefully you can get yours tuned in to throw as accurately as mine thanks guys